The good news is the cruise control works. The bad news is I hate it. Welcome back to the channel, folks. On this episode, we're gonna be working on the reverse track again. We're gonna take and install an M unit basic. And what that's gonna do is uh, it's gonna do the same thing we were trying to do with the Arduino. It's going to take and uh, replace basically having all the switches and having a bunch of relays. That takes care of it all, including the fuses. So uh, that fuse block, we're gonna minimize that to uh, just a few components and then uh, just use that in its place. So uh, with that being said, let's hop onto it. All right, first things first is uh, let, let's talk about revival cycles, which sells these. And this message on the box itself. Once seal has been broken on the packaging, the item is considered non-returnable. So you're telling me that there is absolutely no chance that this could possibly be DOA, which is a blatant lie because nothing is ever perfect. But if you wanna be like that, we're gonna be like that too. And we're gonna open it up where it doesn't break the seal. So that's our unit right there. We got a ground plug, ground lug, which also mounts down, grounds out to the chassis. Your other one is just a uh, lug, that's a through hole lug. And then you have a battery positive lug. These are your inputs and then your outputs. So go ahead, toss this on, get everything connected, and then we'll start programming it. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we got all this coming out of a fuse block. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, undo that. So we are gonna leave one thing connected here. It's this guy right here and that's to our BMS. Just so when I turn the key on, I don't have to turn anything else on, including the controller so it can stay dead and then it will still let us charge the battery uh, that way. So we'll do it that way and then we'll take and make a jumper, same gauge over to the M unit and we'll put it down right here. start connecting our wires high beam low beam uh, perimeter lights and then left and right turn signal so we're gonna have two wires going into the outputs for the left and right turn signals just because uh, we want the tail light one tied in there too so those are thin these are within gauge for all that so let's go ahead and get it hooked up
I was trying to figure out what was going on here. Apparently, we need to take and we need to take the lock pin and energize that. It's supposed to be from the ignition, so we'll have to take and we'll run it off here. We could run it off here, but I, I feel better putting, you know, a small one amp, two amp fuse and then just running it to the lock position uh, just to turn it on. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and power it on one more time and see, make sure it does what it's supposed to do. Flashes, set flashes. Nothing. You stupid idiot! So apparently I'm just an idiot and I forgot to put the fuse in here so obviously it's not getting any power. So, 2 amp fuse. Okay. And let's go ahead and kick it on now. Sometimes you gotta just stop and think about what's going on all right there we go now we got it on it says ignition on so we have to screw it into the garage because it started raining on us which is wonderful um a little bit narrower space i was hoping to finish this outside oh all right so we got this mostly figured out uh, what I'm really waiting on right now is our switches and they're in the mail they should be coming here within an hour or two and we'll get the cutout put in place and then we'll put our switches headlights uh, blinkers and a horn so just wait a minute just gotta wait the mail just stopped by and we got our package that I was waiting for. That's weird. And it's a mounting plate for our switches. So, what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna straight up toss these away. And I'm gonna install this right here. So, we'll mark it up. Cut out our hole, mark our uh, drill points, and then we'll drill some holes, punch it through, and then install our switches.
So, uh, all the electronics work. Our start button works, lights work, turn signal. Uh, just gotta do the horn and then we're gonna button all this up and take it for a ride. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna go and take it for a test drive. All right, guys, here we go. Oh. Key on. Start button. Powered up. Reverse. Horn works. Left turn signal. Right turn signal. High beam, river low beam. High beam, low beam. All right. Run reverse. The good news is the cruise control works, the bad news is I hate it. It's pretty cool. Um, started getting a little sketch in the higher speeds. Uh, got some sort of vibration in the front wheels. I'm not sure what that was all about, so I'm gonna have to look into that. Um, otherwise, I mean, it, it was, smooth uh still got to balance the rear or rear wheel um that shouldn't be too hard uh what else what else what else oh yeah the the cruise control oh my god that is sketch as all hell um once we uh once it locked it in it would either slow down too much or it started hauling up butt on its own so I got to turn that feature off. And then it's a good thing we turned the power down to 50% because damn, that picks up and goes quick. Um, I might leave it on 50% for a while and then bump it up later once I, I make sure that everything's sorted out. But first test drive, I mean, it, it was good. It was straight up good. And with that being said, 
I'll catch you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time.